So, shout out to Xerxy for posting this, and he also posted a video about this also. But, in order to get a head start on Madden 25, you have to play college football 25. And you have to hit level 20 in college football 25. And if you do that, you get a special shout out to um, this guy right here for posting this. You get a special 10 levels in Mutt. So if you go ahead and first off have to spend $60 to go ahead and get some, get the actual game. Obviously you can. Oh, sorry, $70. You can get the deluxe edition, whatever, but if you just want to get a standard edition just to get these 10 levels, it would be $70, which is not worth it. If you're not going to actually play College Football 25, please don't do this. But it would be, it's pretty much $70 to get 10 free, or 10 levels in Madden 25. $70 plus the time and energy it takes to get to level 20. Then you get 10 levels, which is not worth it, in all honesty. And it, what this really is, is if you already play college football 25, you already play cut, and you aren't pulling your hair out, it's just a free way, I guess, in that context to go ahead and get a head start on Madden. But if you're not, then if you're not playing college football 25, then there's really no reason to even care about this. Now, it is only 10 levels. It's not anything too insane. I mean, trust me, the first 10 levels, especially early in the year, usually all it gives you would be a little bit of coins, probably get a gold player pack. They might actually give you a gold player. It might let you skip and get the team captains. But it's nothing like insanely game-breaking. Um, shout out to EA Sports for not, you know, doing this every freaking 20 levels. Wouldn't sh shock me at all. I'm actually kind of surprised they didn't do it. Like, level, if you hit 10 levels, you start level 10 in Mutt. If you hit 20 levels, then you hit, you know, you start level 20 in Mutt. Like, they could have made this a lot more OP and a lot more broken. Also, keep in mind, it has to be the same exact EA account on both um, games. So, like, for example, if you play on one EA account, you can't go to another game and play on another account. So, it has to be the same account. But... Again, it's one of those factors where it's like it's not really that big of a deal and it doesn't give that much of a head it doesn't give that much of a competitive advantage, but it's just not surprising to me with how EA has butchered cut so far. And if again, if you're like, hey, I don't play cut, man, I only play mutt. Well, guess what? All the things you're seeing problems with cut right now, with everyone having the best cards in the game, because the game glitched and everyone was able to open up like pretty much the best cards possible for 10 minutes if you think that stuff isn't going to happen in mutt day one i hate to tell you this but foreshadowing right now that stuff is going to happen in mutt this is not like you know ea sports is not ea sports here and keep in mind that as ea has said themselves that the development teams for both games for mutt and for cut work very close together and they're very much together of a development team so if you're like oh well that's just the cut of development team they're kind of stupid no it's ultimate team also for both games work together and i will say to the cut ultimate teams you know credit here they did take down both glitches even though they're game breaking both back-to-back -back days game breaking glitches they did take them down within uh 12 to 15 minutes, I would say. Which, with Mutt, you would be kind of lucky. You'd be kind of lucky that was like uh, three to four hours. <laughs> Which, I, I don't know. Is that, is that like a positive? I guess that's more of a positive thing, right? Because if you had three to four hours, you would have a lot more people being able to, particip to participate in it. And people who had jobs, maybe they got home and then they could, I don't know. It, it's like one of those situations where it's like, I feel like EA Sports, and I'm going to still say this until I'm blue in the face, they should give every single person right now all the best cards bound to your account. I understand it would destroy the market. I understand it defeat the purpose, but they messed up. Take ownership for what you messed up, EA. Don't be this crap of, we're going to make everything bound you count and that's it. <laughs> and because then playing online is still absolutely trash. And it's going to be trash for the next month because these 89s are really good. So, I don't know.
EA Sports. It's in the game.